Be Mindful campaign. ABC7 reached, uh, received a grant from Report for America to cover stories related to mental health across the borderland. We are proud to welcome Avery Martinez to our team. And Avery's reporting will be dedicated to reporting on mental wellness in the borderland. And he joins us live in the studio. Welcome to ABC7 in El Paso. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, thank you so much, Eric and Stephanie, both of you. I'm very excited to be part of the ABC7 family. I'm a longtime journalist in newspapers and radios, excited to be in TV, and very excited to be talking about mental health issues in the borderland. Time. Uh, we are excited to hear from you as well. Your first story, Avery, is talking about Elder Abuse Awareness Month. Yes, and that abuse itself can come in multiple different forms. It can show up in physical, emotional, financial forms. And many older people are dependent on family and others groups to support them in the El Paso area. There are over 130,000 residents over age 65. The National Center for Elder Abuse says isolation is often a central risk factor for abuse. Adult Protective Services investigated more than 3,000 situations in homes in the El Paso area last year. Over 2,300 had a person suffering from some type of neglect, abuse, or exploitation. The National Institute on Aging says that stress, medical, sleep issues, and loneliness can bring on depression. For older adults, time spent alone can lead to higher rates of depression. Calling relatives or joining a club can help people feel much more connected. I spoke with some residents today at the Polly Harris Senior Center about connecting with others. The children have their park. To us older people, this is our park. So we come here to play Rummy Cube or be in any of the events that we have. They need to get out and be with other people. I wish everybody did come because I have been telling people, come on over and enjoy yourselves and get out of the house. Depression itself can be treated in a variety of ways, including medication and therapy. For ABC7, I'm your mental health reporter, Avery Martinez. All right. Avery, thank you. Thank you.